Hello, odd people. Well, we can all see how volatile the market is. Quite volatile makes people wonder what's going on. Should we take advantage of the situation and buy? Should we escape this? Uh, should we hold on and, uh, and hope that things will be okay and things will, you know, uh, recover or what? Um, and especially when you look at company like NVIDIA, like yesterday, for example, NVIDIA was up 5% uh, at some point, only to end the day at 5% under. That's a 10% swing. 10% swing for a mega cap like NVIDIA is unbelievable. Really massive, right? We're not talking about small growth company. We're talking about NVIDIA. And so for because of this, I think this work is being done by really the big boys. You know, this is, this is a, a big financial institutions doing their business, okay? Okay, and also when you look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA crashed from 140 bucks down to 90 bucks at one time. I think on Monday it just touched the 90 bucks and, uh, and then went up straight up again. In any case, um, so that's an example, but then you see the entire market uh, behaving in irrational way. So to understand this, I think that um, we need to take a step back and uh, and discuss the main situations you know the main points and go through them one by one and see if if they have significant uh, impact on uh, on what's going on or not and what do we do as uh, new investors as maybe some of us are tesla investors too what do we do okay well i made some notes i'm gonna go through them and these notes really uh, are the main points that i found and uh, I'll just uh, share my uh, th these points with you. Okay, first of all, uh, we are at a stage where we actually have high valuations. Okay, so first of all is high valuation. Second is wars, the war in Ukraine, the possibility of having war in the Middle East. These two things are really, uh, you know, um, uh, big situations that, that could be impacting the market. The third one is the Intel crash. And the fourth one is uh, Warren Buffett's Apple cut. Okay. Uh, well, let's go through them one by one. Like I said, uh, high valuation. Well, I think, and I stated this in the past, that uh, especially uh, AI stocks were really high big time. I mean, to have NVIDIA touch 140 and correct back to below 100, uh, that tells you a lot uh, that, that we, odd investors, are not the only ones who think that, that, the, uh, you know, uh, that the AI stocks are hyped. I mean, you know, we, 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 we see this, uh, this opinion shared by many others, okay? And and also the, the, the price action tells you that that is true, okay? And so it is actually good to have correction. You don't want to have a stock uh, going up on multiples, crazy, crazy valuation where you have no, uh, no limit, no end. It, would, it doesn't make any sense. At some point, something have, uh, some things have to change, right? And so uh, I think it's a good thing to have co correction, of course, right? The second thing is the wars. The war in Ukraine is uh, going on and on. And also the Middle East is really boiling. It's on the edge of war, possibly, possibly even big war. Nobody knows. But this type of situation really creates a you know, dark cloud and negative sentiment for investors because you have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. So. So that is another big story that, uh, you know, that's happening live every day, right? That's the second one. The third one is, uh, is Intel's crash. Intel's crash, I think, is because of Intel's, uh, probably it's, it's actually Intel's problem. Intel really lagged in the technology. And I think NVIDIA uh, uh, really took its uh, lunch and dinner and, and brunch and everything. 
uh, NVIDIA, uh, actually, if you look back in history, you, you find that at one point, Intel was 500 times bigger than, than NVIDIA. NVIDIA was nothing, nothing, not even a fraction of a, of a percentage to Intel, only to find out that uh, later on that with the advanced in uh, technology uh, that, uh, that uh, Intel really starts slipping. And, and that is um, a situation that actually requires a special video. There's a lot of similarity between uh, Intel and the AI revolution and the, uh, and the legacy uh, automakers and the EV revolution a lot of similarities okay and that would require a special uh, situation but in any case a special video but in any case it, it actually uh, nevertheless intel um, creates also this negative sentiment around ai especially when when the drop is something like 26 percent you know it's unbelievable right and the third one uh, the fourth one which is uh, really in my opinion the uh, the biggest one is Warren Buffett's uh, cut in uh, the in the Apple stake? That is um, that is telling, of course, and I'm sure we all know these things. I'm just putting them together. Uh, uh, Warren Buffett's cut in Apple stake says a lot. It says that um, that uh, he is not too uh, impressed with Apple's growth in the future. Is that the market is actually uh, uh, ready for correction, uh, you know, and, and so on. I mean, the reason why you would do something like this is because you feel it's time to, uh, to be safe. And Warren Buffett is a logical, uh, a safe guy. You know, he, he's, 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 he's a tremendous guy, right, to learn from. And so, he, of course, he would impact the market. Hello. Uh, so... All of these things uh, are, of course, negative, right? Um, so given the situation, uh, the, the uh, unique story out of all of this is that the EV market is actually pressured tremendously. Even with the correction in the overall market, um, uh, EV stocks also corrected dramatically to that too. You look at, and, uh, look at NEO, NEO, NEO really, corrected as if it's one of these big caps. Uh, Tesla also came down below 200, and, uh, and uh, the whole EV market is under even more pressure. And that is strange to me, given the fact that, um, that the EV market has been under tremendous pressure for the last uh, while, you know, even from last year. And so, so what do we do? Well, I think that the uh, the fact that there is correction in the in the market uh, uh of course some might think that okay it's a great opportunity to buy apple and to buy uh nvidia or whatever right but i think that the fact that there is correction it says that this momentum of uh growth really slowed down it is actually not so bad. It, you probably feel safer by having uh, Apple stock at this time or Nvidia stock. You feel a little bit safer given this correction. But I think moving forward, um, I think that the opportunity lies in the EV market. That's what I see. Okay. And, uh, and because of this, uh, I think that, uh, and why is that? Because that's where the growth is. The, whenever you see massive correction like that, I'm telling you, this is, this is just me thinking, okay? It, the, the reason why you have this massive correction is because it, uh, the market says uh, enough is enough. This is too much. That's why you have correction, right? And so, uh, so there is no massive growth uh, coming up shortly, at least not in the next uh, in a while. And so, uh, uh, where is the growth? The growth is in the EV market. And which companies are the best companies to invest in in the EV market? Two companies, and only two companies, and that is NIO and Tesla. And more, uh, I, would, I would put higher priority on NIO, especially in the third quarter, given the 
uh, this the fact that Tesla would not have a lot of uh, stories and uh, you know uh, catalyst you know moving you know for 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 the immediate future 